blankets. They are super soft, super easy to make. Job to do is a bit time consuming, but following me, you'll make your own very easily. I will post all links to my materials down below and of course I will mention everything I, I use there too but here like you can see I already prepared my base I prepared my base using my latest tutorial link on the screen you can see that I already dyed my locks and uh, base but you can do it when you finish your blanket too it works exactly same and you will need to a felting needle you can find them in few different sizes uh, you will need sponge I recommend you to use felting sponge but kitchen sponge will do job too some scissors my base is around 36 centimeters so I will use around 100 grams of locks to make three layers you can also cut your shape from a ready felt but I don't recommend that because it's very hard to wash it later and sometimes you will have to glue another layer under to prevent locks from falling out so when we are ready it's good to mark the um, middle of your base uh, you will see then how to place a, um, your locks we will do uh, three or four layers here it depends how, how thick you want your blanket to be I already prepared my, uh, my locks and it's very important to make them more fluff so you can brush them or you can separate them using your hands and when you have them prepared it's time to decide how you want to place them on your on your blanket you have to put um, your sponge under under your base and place all locks uh, as tight as you want I like them quite tight so the locks are very close together and you're taking your uh, your needle and you just start punching them this is really time consuming you have to be very precise when they are ready they should look like that and you should be able to pull them and they should stay in place if they do that means you did a really good job and now we have to repeat that to finish our first layer this is how our blanket look when we finish first layer and I think look pretty already you can leave it like that or you can go and do a few more layers I'm felting this wool in one third of the length to be sure that they are safe to wash later and I test it and I can tell that you can wash them by hand and the locks are staying in place you can dye them uh, when you finish your blanket so you can start with um, basic one and then just dye them using fabric dye so when we have our second layer done you can leave it like that because baby will lie in the middle and you will see only those edges or you can do one more layer just to cover middle part of our blanket we almost finished so now you have to place your locks around this um, middle point well done you finished your first blanket wasn't this easy hope you enjoy it if you do please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye